I keep thinking about Frank, and you know what keeps nagging at me? What's that? That he just gets away with it. That he's worked the system so no one can touch him. We try to hurt him, but it never sticks. I'm sensing a plan. Frank has an anger problem, right? I'm thinking, maybe one afternoon, he comes home and he loses it. Wrecks his house and takes it out on those nearest and dearest. Then, some innocent bystander calls and tips off the press. Says, when is this violence going to end? The only industry in this town Frank doesn't own. Exactly. The cops will be forced to do something with the public watching. Do you think you could break in and do the job? Sure. on the reported shooting that occurred earlier today inside the Fire and Vice strip club. After receiving an anonymous call, police arrived on the scene to check out reports of excessive gunfire coming from within the building. According to officials, the first officer on the scene spoke with Fire and Vice's new owner, Karen Olson, who assured the officer the noise heard by the club's neighbors was caused by a construction crew renovating the building. After a lengthy inspection of the club's new VIP room, the officer was satisfied and departed the scene, giving this news story a somewhat anticlimactic ending. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Looks like it's my lucky day.
Vegas Gazette? Hi. I just heard some gunshots in my neighborhood, coming from the Veliano place. I called the police, but they're useless. When are the cops going to do something about the gang violence in this town? <laughs> that ought to get Frank's attention. Gazette's website is Vegas cops continue to ignore gang violence. That was fast. Technology is a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> 